Hey everybody, this is Kaleo VDK. So Procreate 5 Beta 2 has been out for about a week now. I've been using it and here are all the changes. But before that, quick update on Beta 1. I forgot to mention the cloning tool. This is essentially the stamp tool in Photoshop. It lets you clone the selected area and apply it to any other part of the image as you can see here. Definitely a great feature to have. Then I also forgot to tell you about the new blend mode. So in the darken and light and blend mode, we have a new darker as well as lighter color mode. They also added Vivid Light, Linear Light, Pin Light, and Heart Mix. The Divide Blend Mode is also new, and as of right now, there are no additional blend modes in the color section, so everything's the same here. And we have a new bug that makes those icons not appear for some reason, at least it's very inconsistent for me. I wasn't able to replicate it for this video, but I'm going to include a screenshot that I took right before recording. It's just funny because I think Beta 2 was specifically released to fix that issue, but I guess it's still not working or it was just a one-time issue right after installing the new beta. And that's about it for the quick update. So now it's time for all the new changes and fixes in beta 2. So first they fixed a bug that didn't let the floating color pop over operate nicely with the quick menu. I personally use quick menu all the time so that's a huge plus for me. Second it says there wasn't a compact mode for Brush Studio, it's obviously working now and could be useful for quick changes but in my opinion it's still very buggy in some sections. The text is not aligned or they just overlap and you can pretty much forget about working with grains and shapes because it's hard to even see or decipher what you're currently working with. Next they added missing translations, they didn't say which ones, the languages that matter to me personally are English and Korean and for Korean the Brush Studio is still written in English so there is that. Then another bug apparently caused the background color and time lapse settings to not work in a new canvas so no issues there anymore. You can now safely export those process videos. And another big one was the fact that the shape source orientation would not update correctly after applying those changes. It's working now or at least on my testings. And apparently the new rendering modes in the Brush Studio caused some issues as well. Specifically normal accumulative modulation brushes, they had some weird visual glitches. Which isn't that surprising considering that these are experimental features. But it's nice that they fixed that in the new beta. Now what else did I notice? The icons for moving grain and texturized grain, it's a small addition similar to the new naming feature which is great for brush makers or even the new redesign selection toolbar at the bottom, in my opinion a lot more visually appealing compared to Procreate 4. And while I was recording I noticed that the snow brush has not been renamed, it apparently wants to say Korean. But to end this video on a good note, all those brushes still feel amazing, brush decay is still working flawlessly and yeah, those are all the new changes and features I found in Beta 2. Let me know in the comments or in Instagram which area in Procreate 5 you would like me to show more of in the future. There will definitely be more betas coming. We still don't know anything about Harmony yet, for example. But until then, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.